Today we are going to be talking about the Victorinox Compact. This is a knife that was recommended to me by a lot of different people and so I ordered one. It took about three weeks to get in. It was like the longest wait I've ever waited for a Victorinox knife. But I got it in and I've been carrying this off and on. I've been switching it out back and forth between this and, and the Pioneer X, which, uh, you know, just to test out different knives. And I gotta say, I like this knife uh, quite a little bit, actually. So first, let's get through the specs of this guy. It's really lightweight at two and a quarter ounces or about 65 grams. Now this is in the 91 millimeter frame size, so that equates for us here in the States to about three and nine sixteenths of an inch. It's one inch wide or about 25 millimeters, and being a two layer knife with plus scales, it's pretty thin at 14 millimeters or about nine sixteenths of an inch. So very, very pocket friendly knife. Let's, uh, let's get into all of the tools of this little compact. One of the most important tools on a knife uh, of any kind is gonna be the blade, obviously. So we're gonna start out there. Now, this blade is two and five sixteenths of an inch long or about 59 millimeters, which personally, I think that is like a almost perfect length EDC blade. Now, one thing about Victorinox uh, steels is they're a little softer than some of their competitors, but the benefit is actually twofold. They're extremely easy to sharpen up and they are incredibly rust resistant. Now they're not rust proof, uh, but they will definitely hold up uh, to the elements a little better than some of the competitors do. So the knife blade on here is, is just great. And the slip joints on the 91 millimeters are really pretty good too. So that's always a good thing with Victorinox knives. The next thing that I love about this particular knife is the fact that I, I just really enjoy these 91 millimeter scissors. I think they're just like almost a perfect EDC size. Uh, they're one of the best scissors out there and so incredibly sharp too. I mean, just a little piece of paracord here and I didn't quite get through theirs because had a little further up, but you can see just how sharp these little guys are. They're just an awesome pair of scissors and I, I love all of these 91 millimeter scissors and I'm glad it's on this particular knife. Now the next tool that's on here is a little different than what you get with other Victorinox knives. So first of all, it locks into the 90 degree position and then it'll lock into the, or slip joint into the fully open position. Now this is a four combination tool. So let's pull in that Pioneer X real quick. This is what Victorinox normally does. They'll have their can opener, which is pretty, you know, well or widely known Victorinox style can openers where they incorporate the little driver and then they'll have their bottle cap lifter with their uh, larger driver over here. Well, on this particular tool, they, they kind of put those into one. You lose one screwdriver, but you have four functions. So you have your medium flat tip screwdriver, which again will work in both 90 and fully in fully open position. It integrates a, both a bottle cap lifter and a can opener in this one implement. Now, the can opener and the bottle cap lifter is the one thing that I have not used on this particular knife yet. And I've kind of been holding off because what I want to do later is I want to do a video to, to highlight or demonstrate kind of which one I think is better between different brands and different styles. So that's the reason I haven't really done it yet. I kind of want to do them all together. And then it incorporates the little notch here, which is your wire stripper and wire bender. And I haven't been that familiar with this particular, uh, this particular function in Victorinox knives, but I've had a lot of people that have helped me out to show me different ways that they're incorporated and used. And uh, it's actually not a bad little function on these knives. Then if we get to the back side, we have our corkscrew which for a lot of people, corkscrew is incredibly important. Now, this one incorporates plus scales, and that's kind of unusual for a knife of this, because this is only a two layer that will have plus scales. You'll have stuff like your uh, uh, Swiss Champ will have them. Uh, I think some of, of the uh, tech based uh, knives from Victorinox will have plus scales. Uh, you know, I don't know all, every single one that has plus scales, but the fact that they have plus scales in this one is actually kind of cool. Uh, it incorporates underneath the corkscrew, you have the little straight pin, which there's been many occasions where I could have used a little straight pin on me. And then because they're plus scales, you get 
your toothpick and the tweezers which are both standard and most Victorinox knives and then on this one you also get the ballpoint pen I'm gonna leave that pen out for just a second uh, now the last tool that's on here is a two-fold tool actually well unless you include the little key ring uh, is the all-purpose hook and for those that use it that could come in really really handy but what I like most about this all-purpose hook is the way that and I don't know why Victorinox doesn't just do this across the board they incorporate a little nail file on the back of the spine of that that uh, hook I think that is great I wish they would do that across the board on all their knives because that could be very very useful for any knife that includes that uh, that all-purpose hook now if you watch Felix Himmler's channel he's really great about uh, all the tricks and stuff that you can do with with uh, different uh, Victorinox knives one of his tricks is to take your ballpoint pen and inset it into the all-purpose hook here and then you can set it down and now you have created basically a, a lot more user-friendly um, pen so if you don't have it in here then you're kind of choking up on it. it's a little because it's so thin it just it doesn't work that great I mean it's always nice to have a ballpoint pen on you but let me slip that back in there but if you do it in the style that he recommends now you have a pen that you can actually do some pretty decent writing with it it's it's a very cool trick and Felix Himmler has a lot of cool tricks like that uh, it's just an outstanding thing that he does with that I, I love that very 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 useful this is all the tools with the Victorinox compact let me tell you why I think this is such a great knife the reason why I think this knife is so good is because it is in my opinion one of the most complimentary knives that you can have to the Victorinox Swiss tool and the Swiss tool is actually like my second favorite overall multi-tool full-size multi-tool so with the compact things that you're going to get with this that are not redundant on the Swiss tool are the scissors that's the first thing scissors do not come on the standard Swiss tool you do not get the all-purpose hook or that little nail file you don't get a corkscrew unless you get the accessory pack with it a ballpoint pen is not included a toothpick tweezers the straight pen or the little micro screwdriver now everything else on the knife the knife and the combination tool for the screwdriver bottle cap lifter uh, that is included with the Swiss tool but the Swiss tool now one of the downfalls to this knife that a lot of people might say well it doesn't have an all that's important to a lot of people but if you're using it as a complementary piece to the Swiss tool now oh man you, you've just your your capabilities have just expanded immensely uh, with the Swiss tool it already comes included with the knife you all you already get the bottle cap lifter and the the Victorinox style can opener in the kind of in the fashion that they put on their knives and then you also get the little smaller screwdriver but then you also get the chisel you get a full uh, full 3d Phillips for the missing Phillips that would normally go where the corkscrew goes uh, you get wire stripping capability but you know the fact that you can add scissors this is this is one of those that I think is so so great to add scissors uh, as a complementary piece to the the standard Swiss tool I think that's why I like this knife so much I like the fact that it's super light and I like the fact that for the most part every tool on here with the exception of two are really complementary pieces to that Victorinox Swiss tool so much in fact that I think away from work I'm going to start carrying this combination for a while to see how I like it because while I, I lean towards the Leatherman Surge for my everyday use especially on the job site I think away from work something a little more classy if you will a little more uh, uh, you know Victorinox just makes great stuff and their their multi tools and their multi knives are they're just fantastic Victorinox knives or a little less threatening too so if you're pulling it out of your pocket to use something like the scissors I use the scissors a lot when we go out to eat because I have a little daughter and so I'm constantly having to cut her straws and stuff like that 
and sometimes the looks that people give me when I pull out a big multi-tool to make a cut on a, just a simple straw is, you know, a little uneasy sometimes. Not that I mind that much, but it makes other people uncomfortable. Where if you pull out something like a Victorinox knife, uh, I guess it's a little less socially acceptable is how I want to put that. But that combination of these two tools, I think, will really work well together. So uh, I'm going to start as of today for at least the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to carry the Swiss tool along with the compact away from work and kind of see how I like it. But I, I'm really liking how, how you get really an expansion of capabilities by carrying those two with each other that you don't necessarily get with other knives from Victorinox. The fact that it has the plus scales is really beneficial for this. And then you're getting the hook and you're getting nail file and just all kinds of stuff. I, ju I just think it's a great knife for that reason. So I'm gonna try it out and I'll, I'll be back in a few weeks to kind of tell you how I like that combination of tools too. But the Victorinox Compact, I think is a really great knife. I really do. Now. Uh, I'm going to leave some links below, so if you want to look for the Victorinox Compact, I think it's something that you should definitely check out. I, I think it's a really, really great knife. My name is Ben, and you've been watching the Texas Tool Crip. My review of the Victorinox Compact. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.